Okay, YouTube, we are in my lab. We are charging a Tesla battery using another Tesla battery with a hobby charger. You can see here. About 20 amps, which is what my golf cart charger is. So these are going to be for my golf cart to replace the lead acid batteries in there. So let's get a look at the... Uh, here's the voltage per cell. So they're pretty damn near perfect. Uh, I got an active balancer hooked up here. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that. I got this on eBay. I've tested this thing out. It does actively balance. I know it says life batteries, but it's uh, it's for lipo also. So we got the same thing going on over here. This meter is incorrect. I just swapped the meters to check it, but you can see they're still pretty much in balance there and these Tesla batteries will go up to 25.2 volts you don't want to run them at that because uh, you run the risk of overcharge and you don't want to leave them fully charged so you gotta remember these are uh, probably I think these ones are 18650 cells they might be 2700 cells but I think they're 18650 cells the, the what do they use? The Sanyo model or something like that. I forget what they use. But these are from, uh, you can see some writing here. These are from a Model S. Um, it was a 2017 with 29,000 miles on it. So these batteries are supposed to last uh, in a Tesla car. Roughly 200,000 to 500,000 miles is what they advertise them at. So uh, you can imagine in a golf cart, uh, they'll probably pretty much last forever and even if I sell my golf cart I'm gonna uh, take these out because I just don't want anybody else um, using these without the knowledge so this is super dangerous you know you definitely want to know what you're doing you always need a, a, a balanced charger hooked up and uh, you always need to make sure that they're exactly in sync so here we're pulling 20 amps out of and there we're pushing 20 amps in and I'll probably charge them to uh, I've played with these cells quite a bit I'll probably charge these guys to uh, 4.1 something like that I've left 18650 cells at 4.1 and they seem to stay there pretty well uh, I do actively use my golf cart which matters a lot so you could potentially charge these to maximum if you used your golf cart let's say every single day so um, all right, I'll put down in the description the balancers where I got them and uh, all the components that I'm using here. So these are standard RC hobby parts, more or less. And uh, I'll also cover later the, the balance boards by Stealth EV. So these just give you access to the temperature uh, sensors inside as well as the balance cable which I built they do give you the Molex connector on the top you will have to be able to put the the pins in yourself I cut some 6S uh, cables and used those and I did two because I knew one would always be hooked to a balancer and I always wanted a port uh, in case I wanted to manually balance it as well as being able to monitor it so, alright guys, we'll make this a short video.